Hi there, Commanders! Guardian E here with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video, and today they have dropped the new ReZero collaboration event. As you can see here, we've got the limited time recruitment pickup banner for Amelia, the first of two. Uh, banners that will be dropping for the actual collaboration. The second is going to feature Rem, and I believe Ram is going to be a free SR unit that you can get through login rewards just by logging in and participating throughout the duration of the event. So, limited time recruitment banner here, of course, standard pickup 2% out of the total 4%. Uh, for an SSR, and we are going to be pulling for Amelia today. We're going to be pulling for uh, Ram as well. They are going to be both limited once again. Collaboration units, who knows when or if they'll ever come back. And we're also just going to take a look kind of at what's been added as part of the collaboration event, just kind of take in the sites, go through uh, some of the additions and things and all of that stuff. So uh, we're going to start off with, of course, the pulls. Uh, we've got a uh, good number of vouchers lined up here. I've got it in my mind how much I'm kind of willing to spend uh, for, for each. And uh, let's just get started. So first 10 pull in. Now I am not... I, I gotta be completely honest. I, I actually don't know a whole heck of a lot about ReZero. I have not seen it. I know that Season 3 is approaching. Okay, that's gonna be a purple. Maybe. Could be a fake out. No, it won't be. <laughs> So I'm not familiar with ReZero, I actually, the most familiarity I have with ReZero is through its collaborations with different gacha that I play. So it's, I know it's extremely popular, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's like a harem, is it Isekai? I don't know, I'm not entirely sure, but, um, but that being said, I, again, they're limited units and, and who knows, I, I also know that Amelia's not, at least based on initial impressions of her kit, not the most, uh, the most powerful character out there, um, at least as far as, again, initial impressions. Yeah, things could change, but um, but that's not the point. We're pulling because we can, and we're pulling because we want to collect. Oh, okay, all right, SSR, SSR, okay. We got a chance, we got a chance. What we're looking for is that abnormal. We've got, uh, we, we, Lord knows we have enough gear for abnormal. Wow, one gold and one purple? One gold and one purple, what was that? So all of this is just going to be the most common of fodder, uh, just a bunch of rares lined up. So this is number four or five, six, I think, seven. So I, I think this, I think it's this one, right? No, no, no. Okay, it's the next one. All right, come on. We want that abnormal. Oh, <laughs> yes siree. There is that abnormal and there is that Amelia. Excellent. Excellente. We've got her here. Uh, nice little animation with the staff. I like the little glint in the staff too. The flowing outfit. I know some people were kind of harping on the on the art a bit. Um, again, I'm not really too super familiar with the source material, to be perfectly honest. I think she looks fine. Uh, I think she looks cute. Um, but yeah, so that's awesome. That's uh, two multis in, which quite frankly is... Uh, this is a weird multi though. Look at all the rares in a row. Um, much better than I've been doing lately. Much better than... I've been doing pretty poorly in this game. So... Um, so I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and run with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. I'm not gonna be greedy or going for more copies. At least right now, I, I'm gonna play it cool. Uh, of course, Ram is going to be hitting in I think a week or so time, and then when that banner drops, of course we're gonna uh, go in for her as well. But let's take a closer look at Amelia. We may as well while we're here. Again, abnormal, and she is going to be an abnormal attacker. We've got plenty of abnormal tier nine gear to give away, and so it'll be nice to be able to give that to her here as well. So she is going to be part of the Amelia's faction squad, a faction which supports Amelia to be king in the Dragon Kingdom uh, of Lugun Luganika's uh, elective monarchy. A half-elf girl with silver hair and light purple eyes, with a heart of gold, she is one of the candidates for the throne of the kingdom of the Dragon Kingdom, Lagunica. So here is her tap animation here, pressing her hand against her chest. Very soft, gentle expression. Actually, let's uh, let's get into the view mode so we can actually uh, take a look without the, the HUD in the way. So here she is once again, full mode. Again, the color palette is really fetching with the whites and the purples and the golds and everything. Very nice. And it does look like she has a variety of skins. So I I think this is the this is the gotcha skin actually. So this is the sixty dollar gotcha skin for special guests who come to this world. So as I understand it, and we're gonna see more about uh, the collaboration and how they interact with the Nikkei world. But as I understand it, this is actually supposed to be a spare maid costume from Aid, and so she just decides to wear it. 
Does the little high pour with the tea, showing off a little bit, a little bit of style and panache with the uh, the, the serving of it. Pretty nice, you can get the hut out of the way. So she's got a cart next to her too. So it is a different pose and everything. So a little bit on the simpler side for a gacha costume. And then uh, this is going to be, uh, I think you actually get this for free uh, through the event. So if you, if you acquire Amelia, I think one of the missions in the event is to acquire Amelia and then you get this skin for free, I think. Actually, I should say, it should say somewhere. How to obtain? Yeah. Uh, obtain from the re recipe for you. Yeah, okay, so that's how you get it, of course. All right, so that's that's nice. It's a nice, like, casual outfit. There's uh, plenty of leg on display on this one, uh, which is pretty nice. And, uh, and yeah, the soft kind of springtime color palette really works well with her, I think. So we can go through the attack animations. It does look like she is going to be an abnormal rocket launcher attacker, right? I think that's the... That's the idea, and then, so there she goes, charges up the staff or the scepter, and then fires off a blast. Quite nice. And then we'll take a look at the chibi here, she's doing a little march. Uh, oh, by the way, they did fix, finally, my outpost. So the the same, like, ten rare Nikkei that are, like, common Nikkei that just, like, march around my my base 24-7, they finally mix it up so it's a little bit more randomized and I see other Nike walking around, so kind of nice to see that finally, uh, to get a little bit of variety in the outpost, but yeah. Oh, and this is actually the idle pose with the chibi too, like with the little, or the tap pose <laughs> as the wind kind of blows. And I think, uh, of course, if I'm not mistaken, the, yeah, the gacha skin should have unique chibi animations and everything. So let's take a look here. So here she is in the maid outfit. Same sort of deal. So again, pretty pretty traditional meat outfit. Not not a ton of frills or anything, but um, definitely a, a different look. Lets her wear the maid outfit as opposed to kind of her companions. And then we've got the uh, the actual chibi here. So oh look at that flourish. So I think that that's probably gonna be similar to her burst animation maybe. But that cart flying in and the, the high the high pour once again. A little bit of showmanship in there. Our show womanship, and then uh, and then her kind of strutting. Got that little composed walk going on. Very very nice. And then if we take a look at again, I think the free skin that everybody gets if you do acquire her once again, sort of like a casual clothes, like easy breezy look. Very nice. And then uh, here is of course the chibi doing her little march. Uh, so once again, water, rocket launcher, attacker, and then abnormal. Uh, here is her kit, of course, and uh, yeah. I, I don't know, her kit seemed a little bit convoluted, it looked like her damage kind of scaled, or did fix damage based on the ammo capacity, I'm not entirely sure, but here it is. Uh, again, as I understand it, not um, not the most remarkable kit in the world, um, but again, I really just wanted to collect and make sure that I had her since she is going to be a limited collaboration unit, who knows when she'll ever come back. Okay, so here's the costume gotcha, and yep, here is the burst animation, so again, she does a little pour, not not the craziest animation there either, again, a very, a very subtle overall skin, we do get, um, the first pull free on the gacha, so we may as well just do it right now. Uh, the first pull does not have any chance of being the gacha skin, uh, of course. I think you have to do, I think like four, four pulls or something to have it even like a point zero something percent chance of having getting the skin. More often than not, you're gonna have to spend the sixty uh, to get the skin, and then you'll get like you know this other stuff on the side. So let's take a look at the actual collaboration event here and. A recipe for you. Look at this. Look at this cafe. This is nice. I like this area. Okay, okay. So like I said, I'm not really familiar with the source of uh, ReZero, and I haven't seen it, but uh, who knows? Maybe once I get to know the characters a little bit more from this event, I'll uh, give, the, give the show a, a try? I don't know. Um, oh, hey, what's this? Homemade pudding. A pudding personally made by Coco. Uh, it seems to contain ketchup. <laughs> so wait, can I can I grab this or is this a quest item? I don't know. I, I just opened this up, so we'll have to see. Ooh, I see a glint. I see a glint. There we go. Um, all right. So we'll, we'll go through the story a little bit, and and I think what we're gonna try to do. Oh, here's the login stamp. So here's actually the login reward. So as you can see, on day three, you do get a copy of Rem. Uh, which is which is nice here. So a oh, ram. I'm sorry, I mixed them up. So you get ram for free. Uh, some tickets, uh, a little uh, um, portrait frame, and everything. Uh, some vouchers and other resources. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and collect what we collect. And then if we go over to the missions here. So let's grab this. So we can do our dailies here. Collect our rewards. And then uh, oh, one of the challenges: obtain Amelia. And then here, obtain Rem. So you can once you obtain them, you actually get their skins 
for free, which is quite nice. Gotta love it. Free is free is free. Free is good. All right, so we're gonna go into the store here. Oh, look at that! Some fried ri <laughs> soda. Soda falling, you got Coco's eyes glinting. Uh, looks like they're making some stew and some fried rice. Uh, so once again, a made event, or a made centered event, it's gonna at least focus on made for you a little bit, it seems. Um, which, I, I know some people are like, oh, we're already getting another made event so soon. You know, to me, I actually kinda like the idea of a lighthearted slice of life collaboration event. I I know that's not usually the norm. I feel like collaborations, they try to make it a, like sort of an epic collision and colliding of two worlds type of thing with like aggression. And uh, I don't know, it, it's it's kind of different. I, I kind of I kind of feel it, I kind of feel it. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how this is all about. And then you got, <laughs> look at the curry at the top. All right, so we can see a little bit of our girl in action here amidst the rest of our, our crew with boosted rewards percentage. Uh, oh, we might get to see the burst here. Oh, there we go! Nice! And she, <laughs> she just pats her thighs, a little, uh, little thigh pillow invitation. Nice, nice. And yeah, making quick work of the story stages, as usual. And there we are. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, look at how cute this background is! The UI, they always like deliver on the UI. It's the like, it's the little thing sometimes. Well, let's click and get in here. So, game guide. Serve the food ordered by the customer within the waiting time. You can receive high satisfaction scores after successfully serving the food ordered. All right, all right. So we can't even do normal and hard. We got, we got to start with easy. So let's, let's get into it. Maid cafe open. I don't even know what the controls are. Wait. So, what, what are? Oh, one is, one is uh. Hold on. What? Q? Oh. Oh, okay, so you gotta hit the, the button for them to go deliver it. So then I would hit U. Oh man, this is, this is, this is, this is gonna... No, this is... <laughs> Q. Hold on, so... P. Wait, how, how are these... No I gotta figure out how the keybinds are situated. So K is here. It's the keybind that's freaking me out! Wait, so like, so can I click on the, um... Oh, I can click! I can click! Okay, alright, I can click. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I can click. I can click. Oh, okay, alright. Wait, wait, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, I gotta start over. I gotta start over. I'm, try I'm trying to use the keys. No, no, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm gonna use the mouse. Oh, let's use the mouse. Okay, alright, alright, okay. So, we're gonna have an order come in, right? What is this over here? So, she's gonna order something, and it's going to be this dish. So, I gotta click on this dish, and click her, click on the dish, then click this guy over here. Alright. So far, so good. No more, or the fried rice. We'll give this to the event that opens this up. Okay, and then, uh, uh, okay, perfect, and perfect! Perfect Omo rice, look at that. Oh, it was an Omo rice, not a fried rice. Okay, uh, let's see, you got a salad up here. Oh, look, it's Bolt! Or Volt, whichever you prefer. <laughs> he's, he's looking for an Omo rice. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's get this to Volt. All right, let's start this event. That's cute, all right, let's see. Oh, this one's more complicated. Uh, uh huh. Five. Yup. That's right. Look at that. Look at that bunny face. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. So wait. She's got to replenish, I guess. So then we give you to you. We get another omu rice. Wait. So I thought there was some. I thought we had to like make dishes. I mean, this is on easy mode right now. So hold up. Hold up. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think that wasn't exactly what she ordered. That's okay. All right. Two, we can do this. And classic heart for Volt. Very nice. Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh man, everything is everything is dirty. I gotta clean everything. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, alright, are we <laughs> So I, I can see this being way more complicated. I thought I, I know you have to make dishes, I think, later, right? Alright, well we're gonna we're gonna have to explore this more. Let's grab our daily reward at least. Uh what happens if I tap the bell? Oh, <laughs> does it just like swap between them? That's cute. Yeah, well, so we'll we'll figure this out. I'm definitely gonna. I, I generally always spend time on these on the mini games. They tend to be pretty addictive in Nike, so uh, I'll probably try my hand a little bit. How do I unlock normal though? Recommended proficiency three. Oh, okay. So I guess I have to get. What's my proficiency right now? Oh, I'm still at level one. Okay. All right. So I got I got to get good. Got to get good. Then I'll get normal. And I'll I'll get um uh, get hard, and then we can. 
we can clear these these rewards. All right, there is this pass up here. So if you do the uh, the pass every day, the the rewards or the missions every day, you can clear these different stages uh, to get the different tiered rewards. And at the very end, if you do actually purchase the premium uh, license or whatever, uh, you actually can get a skin Pure Blossom for Ram. So it seems like a casual skin for Ram. So we'll check this out when we actually pull for Ram when uh, when that banner drops. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it. Let me know down below how your pulls went for Amelia, if you decided to pull for her. I know a lot of people are kind of holding fast with their currency, their gems, and their vouchers uh, for the upcoming half anniversary, which is not too far away. It's uh, relatively around the corner and certainly is going to have something spectacular, I'm sure. Um, but if you do end up pulling for the ReZero event, um, best of luck to you. Hope you got get your all the copies that you're looking for is super early. Let me know if you're fans of ReZero and if you would recommend watching the uh, the show. Again, I think season three um, has been announced or is coming out soon or something like that. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more Goddess of Victory Nikkei content. Uh, we thank you all so much for watching and until next time, let's defend that outpost. <laughs>